Here's the final drill press. I think it turned out rather nicely. Been tired of a seems of a lifetime of not being able to drill straight holes. Wanted to buy my own, but uh, they're pretty expensive, so I thought I'll just make my own. And this is the result. As you can see, the front is just a one by four with some drawer slides. Uh, there's a couple different holes for uh, the size of the workpiece. The actual part that holds the drill or Dremel is repurposed from a downspout. You can adjust the depth depending on the size of the piece you're drilling. And here's a little trick I picked up from when I worked at the surveying manufacturer. There's these slides on the side that can adjust the level to get uh, a nice straight hole, which is the purpose of the drill press in the first place. Got a very good range of motion, as you can see. Uh, this gear's handmade. I got the plans off the internet. It's been uh, sealed up with some clear varnish just to make it nice and tight. Uh, also cuts down on the friction. And uh, the axle is just a threaded rod uh, held on with some various washers and nuts and a nice little end cap to be all nice and fancy like. And there's a bungee cord, a little bit of a safety device so when you're all the way down it pops the machine back up. So if you're drilling and you have a sudden and fatal heart attack, it'll pop up and not scratch what you're working on, which is the important this part. This is a little rough. It's uh, made for exterior use. I went ahead and got some of this. It's just uh, some black rubber. It'll line the inside so it doesn't scratch up your tools. And uh, I think it's going to provide some pretty good work. So there you go. I paid about five to seven bucks in parts and uh, built myself my very own drill press.